Good evening, friends and crafters. Welcome to Fun Fault Friday. I'm Doreen DeSivas from It Begins With Ink and Paper. And this is my Friday night Facebook Live. Um, so thank you for joining me either on the live or on the replay. I really appreciate it. I'm just going to check to make sure everything's going the way it should. Um, and it looks like it is, so that's awesome. Um, and it looks like I'm able to, everything is showing up on the screen perfectly. So, um, again, thank you for joining me tonight. Um, tonight we are going to make a fun fold that's going to be a Christmas, um, well, going to be a gift card holder. You could use this for any occasion based on the paper that you decide to use. And I am using some Christmassy um, kind of paper that actually comes from the Santa Express suite. Um, so I picked um, some, you know, kind of festive paper, but paper that could go for either um, a man, a woman, a boy or a girl. So it could go for a child, too. The stamps that I'm going to be using tonight are the Cottage Wreath um, stamps. Um, I'm not using the bundle, so I won't be using any die cuts tonight, which I know is unusual for me. I usually have a ton of die cuts. But um, I'm using the wreath in this um, stamp set, and I'm also using um, the bow here um, to decorate my wreath, and I'm using the berry stamp to add, you know, some festive berries to um, the wreath um, after I stamp it. And then I'm using the Brightest Glow stamp set as well. Um, this stamp set is a cling stamp set, so it's a polymer, excuse me, it's not a photopolymer stamp set, it's a rubber mount stamp set, so give you an idea of what a rubber mount stamp set is. And um, the Cottage Wreath is a um, photopolymer stamp set. So this gives you an idea where the photopolymer stamp sets, you can look right through it and place your image really easily on your um, cardstock. And with the um, cling stamp sets, it just takes a little bit of practice sometimes. And what you'll see me do is I stamp my image on my scrap paper so that I can see if I need to make an adjustment as I'm stamping it on the cardstock. So if you're joining me for tonight, um, please say hello. Tell me where you're watching from so I can say hello back. Let me know if you like the um, project we're doing. Um, also, we um, if you could share this video, that would be awesome to get my um, page out there. So let's talk about what we're gonna need um, for supplies um, tonight to make this. So we are going to need a piece of designer series paper that measures five and a half by 12 inches. So we're going to use almost a half a sheet of paper. Um, this piece of designer series paper is double sided. So we have some great um, red and green Christmas um, dots. Like they're just little shapes. They're, I guess they're not just quite dots. They're kind of um, a variety of different um, shapes. Get it up closer for you to be able to see it. You see they're not just dots. They um, are little diamonds and little circles and just like a dab of ink on a piece of paper. So we get those um, Christmas colors in there. And then on the other side, you can see we have um, a bunch of different wrapped presents um, and they're all in different Christmas colors. So um, that's where this comes from. And so on the um, front of our cardstock, um, the cardstock needs to be measured at four and a quarter, excuse me, it needs to be scored at four and a quarter inches, um, eight and a half inches, and 11 inches. So we have four and a quarter here, eight and a half here, and 11 inches here. So that's the designer series paper. Now, if you are like me, you have hordes of designer series paper, probably in your craft room or where you do your crafting. And um, if you have 
tons of it stored away. This is a great way to use up your designer series paper. So you can um, use almost, you're going to make two gift card holders. You can, you just one piece of um, 12 by 12 paper will do it for you. So let me just set this down. And then for other um, pieces of cardstock, you're going to need a piece of um, I'm going with the colors that match this paper. So I'm using some red, red, some real red and some shaded spruce. So my shaded spruce piece of cardstock measures four and three quarters inches by three and a half inches. And I have a piece of basic white that I'm going to be layering on this after I stamp it. And this measures four and a half by three and a quarter inches. And then I have a piece of real red cardstock that measures four by five and a quarter. And then I have a piece of basic white that measures three and three quarters by five. And that's going to be going on the inside. And then the other supply I'm using is these are the smaller memory and more cards. And they are, came with, um, if you ordered the um, Santa's Express Suite. This was one of the products that came with it. And the Memory and More cards come in two different sizes. So let me just grab another one. I think I have one handy on my desk. Maybe. Well, here, let me start with this. So they come in a package that looks like this. And they come in two different sizes. And they also come with this particular one has some wooden pieces, some words, um, that are on um, a piece of foam and then they also have some acetate sheets so um, let me show you what some of them look like I've been using them but you can see that they um, there's two different sides like this says let it snow right here um, but you have two different they're double-sided um, some of them so they're great for um, memory keeping for card making and all of that good stuff. Um, this suite also came with some memory and more cards, um, card bases and envelopes, but unfortunately those have sold out. So um, this is a great way, you know, for someone who wants to hand make their cards, um, but you don't have a lot of product, you don't have a lot of stamps or ink, um, you can make great greeting cards when you buy the Memory of More Memory and More cards um, packet and the um, card um, basis, the um, basis for the cards, and um, you can do it for a very reasonably priced um, amount of money as well. So just a little hint of something you can do. I'm going to be putting this in the gift card holder um, instead of a gift card. This could go in with the gift card and you could write a little message on it or have it as just another little sweet greeting that's inside. So let's get started with the stamping and get that part done first. So as I said, I am using, I may not have said, I'm using Real Red and Shaded Spruce ink today. Now the stamp I'm using to, to stamp the wreath is actually a distinctive stamp. And a distinctive stamp, I talked about this last week because I used um, a stamp set, the um, Soft Seedling stamp set, and the large leaf in that stamp set is also a distinctive ink, distinctive stamp. So you can see by just the, I hope, by the, let me just get this in the right place. I'm so lame at this. You can see that when you look at this um, photopolymer stamp, you can see some of the different colors stand out more that are stained on it. And that's because different parts of the stamp um, ink up in different ways on a distinctive stamp. And you get more texture. And I'll show you what I mean by that in just a moment. So I am going to ink up my wreath and I'm going to stamp it on the left side of my piece of white cardstock. It's going to transfer that ink. And you can see I get um, 
a really beautiful image. And if I hold it up a little closer, I hope you can see that there are different um, variations about of the different inks. So you can see that it's darker in places and lighter in others. And that's what a distinctive stamp does. And it doesn't um, give you a super um, bold, um, you know, stamped image. I just love how it um, does all of that. And I'm going to take my real red ink and I'm going to take those three little berries and I am just going to stamp them on, directly right onto the wreath. And there we go. And then I'm going to take from the um, Brightest Glow stamp set the greeting that says wishing you a season of hope and light. And I'm going to put that right on the front of the card. But remember what I said, um, I don't always put my stamps on um, perfectly straight. So when I look at that, it, well, it actually looks kind of perfectly straight. So I'm going to come over here and just stamp that right on the lower right right side. And there we have it. So there is the front of my card, um, all stamped. I am going to put some um, bling on it, so we'll just set that aside for a minute. And I am going to take my inside piece, which is a little larger of a piece, and I'm going to be stamping in the red ink as well. This one says, hoping your Christmas shines bright with the love of family and friends. So again, I'm going to stamp it first, go right above this line, and just, mm, let's see. Yeah, that looks pretty good. So I'm just going to make sure it's all inked up, and then stamp that right in the middle of my card front inside. So I'm done with the red ink and then I'm going to take my um, shaded spruce ink and I'm going to take um, this stamp and again remember we're talking um, from the wreath set and I am just going to stamp a couple of these bows right on the inside, the right um, corner. So gives you an idea of what it looks like on the inside. Now I can start putting some things together. So I'm going to start by just attaching these um, two panels with um, um, stamp and seal. How many of you were shocked yesterday when it, when the calendar changed to December? I just can't get over how fast this um, how fall has gone. It's, it's just amazing to me. And I just can't believe that we're already um, thinking, you know, that it's Christmas is in just a few weeks. I have a lot to do. I don't know about you. So I'm going to layer these on my colored cardstock pieces. So there we have both of those. Now, let's figure out how we're going to do um, this card. So, on my 11 inch line, I am actually, so this is the inside of my card. And I'm going to be using this line here to make my pocket. So this is the eight and a half inch line. So I'm folding that over, and then my 11 inch line, I'm gonna fold this way. So I'm going to have um, it come across the polka dot with the gifts. So I'm just gonna take some of my um, stamp and seal, put that on, and close that right up. And then as I am putting this together, I'm going to be um, making it into a, excuse me, a pocket. 
So I'm just going to take some of my tear, um, tear tape and I'm going to put that on both sides of the pocket. I don't have to worry about closing the bottom because I um, I'm folding it up so it will have a natural close. So I only need to worry about closing it on um, each side. And I'm using um, the tear tape to, um, to do this because I want to make sure any gift cards, money, whatever I put in my pocket stays put. And so I don't want it to um, tear on me. Now, because this is a full five and a half inches, you've got a nice, a nice size pocket. And as I said, I am going to take this, I'm putting it in to show where my gift card to go. I actually have a gift card sitting right here so I can show you how both will fit in. So I can put my gift card right in and I can have that piece in. So my other fold line is the... Um, four and a quarter inches. All right. Now, some things to think about when you're making um, a gift card holder with your designer series paper when you have a pattern that goes in a particular way. The dots, doesn't matter how I cut it, how I score it. But on this piece of paper, on this side, it does matter because I want the gifts to be um, in the right direction. So I want the bows to be at the top and so on. So when I did my scoring, I had to make sure I didn't score this piece to be turning over because then my gifts would have been all upside down. So I really had to look at um, the pattern of the paper and make sure when I was cutting it, I was cutting it correctly. All right, so this piece, now because I'm using a piece of designer series paper, I am actually going to um, put a layer inside and I'm going to have that layer outside and that's going to give me some sturdiness um, in this. So I'm going to add some ribbon um, because I do want to um, have a bow um, and I want to use something that's just going to shimmer and shine. So I just need to get this open. So let me just get below it don't want to ruin the ribbon. Um, it's a new roll of ribbon. I guess I should have done this ahead of time, knowing that it was going to be a challenge for me. Um, oh, too funny. Um, all right, so I don't know how much this beautiful glittery ribbon shows up but I don't know if you can see the chunky pieces of glitter in it or not, um, but that's what we um, are going to be using. And what I like to do, and I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do this, I actually like to, instead of putting this on and, um, and then bringing it around and tying a bow and having a chance of ripping the designer series paper, I like to just put a piece of adhesive in here and I am going to adhere this because this piece is going on top of it and I can bring this all the way around and when I cut it, it's going to, um, the cut parts are going to be the seam where it comes together. Um, is going to be covered up. So I have this piece of beautiful glittery ribbon that's going to go underneath this so I can still see it and then I'm going to add a bow um, afterwards. So let me just add my front layer first. And so we've got this right here. Let me just center that on. And then I'm going to cover this with my inside layer, just like that. It also saves on the amount of ribbon um, you use, which is you know also a plus. 
and you'll get to be able to see that piece of ribbon on the inside too. So this is what the inside of our card is going to look like. So let's close this, close this. And now when I tie a bow, I leave the ribbon right on the spool so that I don't um, waste as much again. Because um, I will use every piece of my ribbons. I love adding um, bows to my cards. I'm not liking how that one's coming out. So let's start again. And this is like the my least favorite thing to do live um, is make bows. Okay, so let's cut this. And I'm just going to play with it just a little. Bring this down a little. Okay. And then I'm going to just put that right there on the side. So I'm going to use a glue dot to do that. So I'm just going to take my ribbon and make sure I have it on the right side. And I am going to put that right there on the side of the card. So there is the um, ribbon added to the um, front. Okay, so our next step is adding a little bit of bling. And I'm going to use the same bling I used last week. And that is the um, red and green adhesive backed pearls. So I can use um, the red um, I can use the green, I can use the silver, I can use the gold, I can use whatever I want. I think I'm going to actually go with the silver because of the um, glitter that's in the ribbon. So I want it to kind of play on that. So I am going to take some of these and I am just going to sprinkle kind of generously. These are small... Um, Actually, I might do different colors. That would be kind of fun. So I'm going to take some of the red ones, put two here, and maybe take a couple of the green ones and put here. And let's see, that's two, four, six. We need, um, I need three more. So I'm going to put a silver, a red. Oh, actually, you know, I'm going to make it a threesome. That is what I'm going to do. And put it similar to the way the berries are. There we go some quick decisions um, all at once. So this is what the finished card looks like. So we have our, so you could use any Christmas stamps you have, any designer series paper that um, gives you a Christmas feel. And um, these layers are gonna give your card nice strength. And then in your pocket, you can put your gift card. You can put a little message in, place to write a little secret um, Christmas greeting. But there we have it. That is tonight's fun fold. A nice way to use um, our designer um, series um, paper and to spread some um, Christmas cheer. And I actually want another. I just... I just love these, and I think I am going to add one more just for the fun of it. There we go. So thank you so much for joining me tonight on Fun Fold Friday. I will be back next Friday with another fun Christmassy type of fold. It could be 
some kind of packaging. It could be a Christmas card. I think at this time of the year, most of us might have our Christmas um, cards done. Um, but if you don't and you want to see a Christmas card, tell me in the comments. And if you would like to see something specific, more gift card holders, or if you want to see um, gift card packages to um, package um, a certain kind of Christmas treat, let me know and I'll see what I can come up with for you. But for now, that's it. I hope everyone has a fun-filled weekend. And I will see you next Friday on Funfold Friday. Good night, everybody. Bye-bye.